Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson number three, foam brushes. I use a few different kinds of brushes, but uh, the real workhorse of my brushes is the polyfoam two inch brush. I also use the one inch brush too. And uh, I can't stress enough uh, how important it is to get the polyfoam brand. I've tried all kinds of other foam brushes, but they're just flimsy. They don't hold up. So, um, but the one thing I do want to say about foam brushes is if you are cleaning them, don't put them in super hot water because it uh, wears down the glue and they will come apart. So when you wash them, just use kind of lukewarm water and soap when you wash them. Anyway, uh, here's a video of me working up close. You can see how I operate with the one inch foam. I don't use the one inch foam as much as the two inch, but I do use it as well. And uh, it's just great for holding paint and uh, you can just press down on it a certain way and get just the right strokes. But the thing about lettering, and I'll talk more about it later, is practice. It's just practice. Like get out some newspaper, tape it to a wall, make sure the paint doesn't go through the newspaper onto the wall and just practice your brush strokes. And I'll, I'll go into a video about that, showing me do that. You, also, if you have a window, a large window in your home or business or, you know, a sliding, sliding glass door, you can practice lettering on that. My lettering was pretty bad in the beginning. Um, this is the first window I ever did in 1976 Christmas, but the, the artwork, the, the anatomy had, uh, it, it wasn't there. Look at the hands and the lettering. The lettering was fair, but um, it wasn't very good. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on foam brushes.